Good morning, John. Good morning. Thank Martin. you for coming in. Well, I didn't have to swim here, though, <laughs> with some of the rains which we have, it was a thought. Yeah. <laughs> so, so a lot of people seem to feel that we are experiencing above average rainfall, but is yes. this really the case? When you take uh, a look at weather patterns, not only in, in our it country. Is, it, yeah. it is. And the, the main cause is that because of this, uh, this, this global warming, which has induced climate change, yes. now it's affecting everywhere around the world, but the, all the stories coming from overseas don't like the word climate change. It mm. might be a dirty word, I don't know, but, but in our case we are seeing it. We are seeing it in the southern hemisphere yes. and we are seeing the products of this because the, the tropical air band, actually toric zone, has expanded as it has done in the northern hemisphere in their summer and it is, it is doing in ours. That brings the, the Congo air mass closer to our skies mm -hmm. normally, including, in, uh, well it's bordering on, on actually our, our northern border areas, uh, sort of, sort of the, uh, um, um, actually, Kavango uh, uh, and its river catchment into, um, into, into the 4-0 actually regions. And uh, at the same time, because the high pressure cells are also being pushed further south, their ability to bring the moist air in through the Mozambique channel mm -hmm. into, into the uh, catchments of Zambezi Limbo, Popa, which face that way, yeah. which bring this air in. This uh, in these last four weeks, this is this has now been able to do it, do its work in full flow because we've we had a, a spell of about four or five weeks where we had tropical cyclones coming into the Mozambique Channel. They take in some of this moisture and they and they robbed us of of that chance. There's a bit of outgoing of this which gives us high pressure in the upper air which means it absorbs sort of the top ends of the thunder clouds. So we didn't do quite as well as we should do through through January into the first part of February. Yeah. But when this season broke down in these last three weeks we have done we've done uh, pretty well four rains. Uh, they have tended to be a little bit on the patchy side, not quite widespread. Widespread means 80% coverage. Yeah. Uh, patchy means we've been having the heavier showers a little bit more localised, yeah. but with this air pattern continuing, there's no sort reason why this yeah. is, is, is not able to sort of sort itself out and give those people who are standing there saying, please, Give them. Give, give us them, a little bit of rain. Yes. Yeah. Now, now the other thing about these showers, which we have been seeing, we've had wet seasons through the uh, uh, various years of, of the last century. Um, the, the 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 let's call it the subtle change mm. is that we have now had. Um, these showers which develop so easily, you take Saturday and Sunday, or it, it looked like rain, my golly, and it was going to, and as soon as the clouds were there, it rained. Yeah, b b but then uh, within, within minutes, literally, it dispersed. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, because sort of the cloud rains itself out, but don't worry, there's another cloud forming because it's that kind of air mass. Now, John, let me just get this straight. Now that we've established that we are dealing with the effects of climate change, is this going to become the norm for well, Namibia? you know, it has been taking... Uh, we woke up to climate change perhaps 20, 25 years back. Mm -hmm. If you'd have mentioned climate change 30 years back, they'd have said, look, there's the door, please, yeah. please take yourself But now that it. we can see the actual now effects we of have it. got it, yes. yes. And uh, we are seeing this on, on actually daily weather maps put out by by the Australians, the BOM, Bureau of Meteorology, mm -hmm. the, which the the surface weather maps for the Southern Hemisphere which show these high-pressure cores are regularly 40 to 45 degrees south, their home is 30 degrees south. Mm. On when when we read a climatology book, this is the core of the high pressure system. But but there they are sitting 10 degrees further south, as they are in the northern hemisphere. Now, when you squeeze air, you are going to get interesting things happen. Mm. They're seeing that in the northern hemisphere. Yes. Why don't we see it in the southern hemisphere? Because it's all ocean. There's no yeah. need to report it. Yeah. So what's happening, so these odd ships which go down to the Antarctic stations, mm. etc. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they come back with, with stories, but they could be very interesting.